Hello friends, I am Ananya Chopra, also known as Wonder Ananya on digital platforms. I am the CKO, the Chief Kid Officer for SDGs for Children. I am 12 years old and I am an ex-student of Alcon International School. I feel the sport is a powerful educational tool to achieve sustainable development. Along with my studies, I also play squash in my free time. Sports help us to stay fit and do regular physical and mental exercises. It also helps us to learn different human values like discipline, care for others, respect, and many other values. According to me, boys and girls should get equal opportunity to play. I think that children with different abilities should also get a fair chance to play different sports and show their skills. Team sports help us to learn the team spirit and care for the team. I remember the moment I was getting ready with my opponent for the semi-finals and she said, we will play our best and not for the trophy or any award. And I replied, yes, it doesn't matter who wins the game. We will always be good friends. Apart from this, I've also self-published my book called Save Our Planet and my second book, Know Your Rights or Have No Rights, is about to come out. I started my journey with SDGs at Alcon International School, India, when I was in grade 5. I learned about SDGs through my school's annual exhibition and later through my brother Ayush Chopra, the founder of SDGs for Children. Studies became interesting when my school teachers started including SEDs in our daily lessons and we all learned about them in our, all our su subjects, English, Hindi, social studies, science, math, etc. The homeworks were fun to do as we need to do a lot of research online about the activities which were all linked to one or more SEDs. I wish every student would get a similar opportunity at the schools as I got at Alcon. I did my first activity about SDGs at school only. The project was about disability awareness where I did many activities with other students like I told the students to pick up a pencil with their elbow and draw anything. Then. I told them to cover your eyes and draw a house without cheering or looking and many more activities like this. So the, through this project, children developed empathy towards specially abled kids and realized about the great difficulties they face. Since then, I'm learning and advocating about SDGs to many other students across the globe. This is my SDG story. What's yours?